In this video, you will see a CCA created biology lesson for a high school student. This lesson is from Unit 4, Lesson 2, Animal Cell Organelles. All CCA lessons begin with a lesson overview. Here you will see can-do statements, such as learners can explain the interdependence of cell organelles and tell why these relationships are necessary for the survival of the cell, and more. These are concepts learners will be able to understand more by the end of the lesson. Vocabulary is listed here, such as cell membrane, cell wall, centrioles, and many more. These vocabulary terms will be found throughout the lesson. This lesson requires no science kit materials and no additional household materials. Science kit materials are mailed to each learner at the start of the school year to use when needed in lessons and experiments. The approximate length for this lesson is 60 minutes. Like with all CCA lessons, learners are encouraged to take breaks as needed. The next page contains guided notes. Learners can download these notes and fill them in while working through the lesson. These notes may be printed out to write on by hand. Learners are engaged with the question, what is the best tool to extract a nail? They are encouraged to ask themselves why they most likely chose a hammer for this task. And this question relates directly to the lesson. Below, learners have a matching list. They are to match the structure with the function in the following animals. Although this is just practice, their teacher can see this work to provide timely feedback. Next, learners will explore animal and plant cell structures. A diagram here shows structures and organelles that can be found in typical animal cells. Learners can then press the link below to explore different parts of both animal and plant cells. Learners can use this interactive exploration to find structures inside a cell thanks to Learn.Genetics, the Genetic Science Learning Center. All cells make waste that they need to get rid of. Larger items, like pieces of worn-out cell parts, go to lysosomes. Enzymes inside digest the waste, breaking it down into smaller molecules. Cells can turn them into new molecules, burn them for energy, or get rid of them. Small waste products go out to the cell membrane. The following multi-step below helps learners find out more about the organelles that control the cell and build proteins. Learners may press on the arrows to proceed to the next step and information. After reading the information about organelles, they are presented with a multiple choice practice question. The next page of the lesson contains another multi-step on more important cell structures such as mitochondria, vesicles, and lysosomes. A matching list component is at the bottom of this page where learners will match the organelle with its function or job. Looking back at the guided notes that could have been printed out in the beginning, you'll see that learners can follow along with this lesson as they discover animal cell organelles. Learners then move on to learn about the cytoskeleton and how it helps the cell maintain its shape and to transport materials. You may have noticed in this lesson some key vocabulary words in blue text. These are hyperlinked words to show additional definitions, pictures, or short videos. On the next page of this lesson is an embedded video from Discovery Education all about animal cells. The learner is encouraged to watch to review the organelles present in these cells. Animal Cell Objective to know about the structure and functions of an animal cell. All the living organisms are composed of cells. A cell is a structural and functional unit of life. If we observe a cell under electron microscope, we can see that a cell is composed of a cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm. Toward the end of this lesson is a summary of what has been learned, such as that ribosomes make proteins, mitochondria supply energy for the cell, and that vesicles and vacuoles function in storage and transport, to name a few. Before wrapping up the lesson, learners will evaluate their knowledge of this topic by completing a few multiple-choice practice questions. 
To finish the lesson, learners are to identify organelles in the diagram. And as a preview, learners see that in the next lesson, they will move from learning about animal cell organelles to learning about plant cell organelles. We hope you enjoyed this CCA lesson tour. For more information about CCA, please check out ccaeducate.me.